My name is Daryl Ford, Chief Information Officer here at Roger Williams University. Thank you for tuning in to our first video information technology newsletter. During this brief video, we'll feature three segments I'm sure you'll enjoy. On the first segment, we'll talk with students about their experience with technology on campus. The second segment is our Roger Williams University Faculty Spotlight, where you'll hear about new and innovative ways faculty are using technology on campus. The third segment will feature a Roger Williams University staff member whose contributions are making a real difference in the university community. For more information about technology services on campus, check out our new information technology website at it.rwu.edu where you find information about services available to you as a student, faculty, or staff member, including information about the R-Cloud, computer support, wireless, and much more. Thank you for watching. I have uh, quite a bit, both on the School of Engineering platforms and the Cabelli School of Business platforms. Um, they've been extremely helpful for you know, a lot of different applications that um, you know, we might not have access to on our computers uh, personally, so it's great to have that interface available. Um, my technology experience has been good overall at Roger Williams. Um, I've always been able to connect to the Wi-Fi wherever I am on campus, and the computer uh, access in my classes and in the library have been really beneficial to my time here. <laughs> MediaTek is very efficient in fixing um, or any problem that I've gone there with. It has been very efficient. I thought that my hard drive was going to just completely die on me and they ended up saving everything. And I was really worried about my pictures from abroad being gone and they ended up just saving everything. So I was really, really grateful. Technology is fantastic in the classroom, whether I'm using it in terms of a, of, a, of a hybrid class where I'm meeting with the students and then having them do stuff for me online, or if they're true online courses. I love the technology, uh, especially in my field, because the technology allows a certain level of granularity that you really can't get without the technology. What do I mean by that? Um, when I have a language course, if I only have 50 minutes or 90 minutes for a given class, I can only cover so much material. And if somebody has a question, I need typically to answer that question, and that kills time from doing other things I may want to do in the classroom. When I have the options of using video or using an online format, students can go into that video or into that online format and repeat the material, or they can look at other material more in depth. So the equipment that I use for teaching courses online or courses that are hybrid courses really varies every semester. Uh, it's evolutionary. Right now what I'm using is a program called Camtasia. Uh, and I'm also using that in conjunction with a piece of hardware called LiveScribe. So the Camtasia is great because it actually allows you to record screens on your computer and mix it with video. So I can put a camera on. Uh, very often I'll get support right from IT for the cameras. They'll even come into the classroom and uh, film the courses for me. And then I can add later into it uh, a screen so that the students online can actually see me lecturing and they can see the material that I'm lecturing about. The live scribe is actually it's a notebook where you write material into uh, into the notebook and it saves it as a PDF on your computer so I can take notes or I can give class lectures and send them out to the students whether they're in a class like a hybrid format or an online format moving forward with technology in the classroom I want to see and I'm always looking for ways of creating more interactivity uh, between the students and the faculty especially when they're sitting at their desk in their uh, apartment or in their dorm uh, in front of a computer. Right now, we're doing a great job offering lectures to students that are online with, in video or having them respond back and forth with the, the faculty member. But what we don't have is that right at the moment interactivity that you do get in the classroom. And I think that is the area moving forward that I want to pursue. Customer service to me is walking into a situation with open ears, paying very close attention to the details, coming up with a solution, and applying that solution to the situation. 
It is our goal here to become more proactive in maintaining the technology on campus. And it's not like we don't like hearing from the university community, but we feel that the best customer service call is one that's never made. Mm -hmm.